Today I would like to talk to about the Quarry Builder uh, plugin that you can use from jQuery and let's get started. Uh, I'll put in a link on this uh, on my website but uh, I have already have a link here so I can go there and this is the plugin we are talking about the uh, Quarry Builder and what it allows you to do is to create quarries uh, like this a user interface and uh, you can use this to create uh, either a quarry that can be simply passed using JSON or uh, MongoDB quarries or even a SQL queries. So I'm going to start with a simplified version so you can kind of understand how it uh, will hopefully make it easy for you to uh, do your own quarry builder using this particular plugin. So let's get started. And the simple rule I'm going to demonstrate here is that I have selected or or I can select and and I'm going to select or and I basically can uh, uh, choose uh, some of these options that which we have specified and let's say I just say it does not, uh, does not contain gore and I have a name not equal to as and I can add as you can see another rule here and name uh, is the only one I'm demonstrating and let's say this is just called Yogi so I have this set of rules and if I just click on apply it's going to create a JSON for me and uh, let me just clear this so we can just see that so here you can see the condition I got was and sorry I had and instead of or and the rules is just a set of three arrays and here you can see I have an operator which says not contains operators not equal and operator equal so you can pass this JSON and create whatever search rules you want to create so let me just <coughs> kind of show you the code that you need to use uh, basically uh, all I've done is uh, just uh, have a button where I call when I uh, have an apply and I call this function to get the JSON and all I need here is the jQuery as you can see the jQuery is there I uh, use the bootstrap so bootstrap is here and I would recommend using just the quarry builder standalone JavaScript so that you won't have to worry about getting all the dependencies and everything else and this is what I've done and I have a little app.js file uh, let me just show you what is in the app.js file it's pretty straightforward I have a set of options and I can uh, provide uh, the plugin the quarry builder here and give it those options and uh, I'm starting very simple here so you kind of know which options to use basically is the most basic filter and the type is going to be just a string and I put in a default value of core and this is all you need and filters is an array so you can add more filtering options if you want to and uh, here is my click button and basically what it is calling is json.stringify and on the data I get from my quarry builder I say here is a quarry builder and I just say get rules and uh, it's basically I'm printing it out to my console and you can see here that's what it did and let me just quickly show you instead of just getting a JSON rules if you wanted to get a Mongo uh, DB kind of thing all you need is to change that get rules to uh, get Mongo and I'm going to change that for you and if we try this again this time I'm going to change the rule to or and I'm going to just do the name equal and we can add another rule uh, name equal and uh, contains associates for example and this is going to be the mongodb so you can see it is created a mongodb query with a dot or name is gore or name and regular expression because it, it has the contains in there so you can also use it to create the sql and the way to do the sql is also pretty straightforward instead of saying get mongo you can just uh, use get sql and you have to massage the output a little bit but you can go to the website and kind of find out how to do that so hopefully this is a, a good introduction on how to use this jquery quarry builder and you'll be able to do read uh, more documentation and build more complex uh, ui uh, if you need to do quarry building and you can find this screencast on my website and i, I also add a link to the jquery quarry builder and you can search uh, in the search bar so thank you for taking the time to watch this shortcast. Thank you very much.